Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a zipper onto a zippered pouch. Um, when you're all finished, it's going to have a straight seam and it's going to be very nicely neat and doesn't get caught when you're opening it. Uh, first, you're going to start with your pouch inside out. Don't inside it out yet, so you want the inside out, obviously. And then um, you need a zipper. These are 14 inch. Uh, I typically like 10 inch for these bags because they fit perfectly, but I don't have them in this color. So the first thing you want to do is test your zipper. Make sure it opens and very nicely. Um, I have an example of a bad zipper. This one is really hard to open and I would never use that on any of my bags because you obviously don't want, you know, go to your bag and you can't open it. So anyways, um, what you're going to do first is measure from the seam to the seam. You're going to put your zipper head right past it. So I line up right past the zipper with the seam and then all the way across. And then you can either mark it where the other seam is or just do it by holding it until you get it to your machine. Um, I've already put my thread in, what um, kind of thread I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew that real fast. I do it three times over and don't be scared to use your needle over the zipper. I use a 16 point uh, needle and it goes right over it with no problem. Um, I go one, two, three, and then just use your back stitch over it. And then you're going to cut the strings off. And then I will zoom in for this next part so that you can see it better. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything from there. Okay, what you're going to start with, I start with the side that my tag is on. So you put the zipper head right inside and it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just kind of guiding it around um, to where you just sewed. And it's right sides to right sides, so the top of the zipper is touching the um, in or the outside. And then you want to line up that line with the seam on the inside, so that it's um, pretty much inside the groove. Make sure it's all the way open. And then you're going to pin it. I use six pins. Uh, you don't need too many, just enough to hold it straight. So you're going to straighten it out and go around and then get to the other side and pin it on that side and then you're going to open the zipper and make sure you put your pins far enough up so that when you're opening the zipper it doesn't get caught and then keep this out and then you're going to guide it around to the other side and you're going to line up the zipper ends, the metal parts, to where they look the same on either side of the seam. So it kind of makes like an X. And then you're going to pin around the same as the other side. Making sure your zipper head is inside the bag. So when you're finished, with that, the zipper head should be snug in that corner um, and the zipper head not up like this, you want it down inside so that it's nice and flush in there. And then you're going to switch out your um, zipper foot, your uh, presser foot with a zipper head, or a zipper foot, sorry, and I change it to the middle um, middle setting and you're going to start with the zipper head side and what I like to do is make sure the zipper is kind of angled down so that you could sew here like at an angle starting from the top and then back stitch it so that it stays there so and then you just follow it around and I get it close to the zipper so that it makes a nice seam and make sure you're going 
at an even pace around so it's not all crazy wiggly. And you have to lift your um, presser foot up, make sure your needle is in so that you don't lose the place where you're at. So you're just going to continue around, making sure that it's nice and smooth and not um, buckled up anywhere. And then when you get to the part where the pieces intersect like an X, I make sure the top that you are sewing on is over top the other side and you lift up your presser foot and get the other side underneath so it's nice and snug and it makes kind of like a V and then go straight over that to, to the other side. And this is where you pick it up and kind of straighten out your bag so it's not all bunched up. And then you continue around, taking the pins out as you go. And then I do the same thing with the other side. Um, take the last pin out and hold it so that it stays nice and close to the edge and then do an angle up and then back stitch. And then cut your strings. And I like to lint brush my bags before I inside them out so that all the pieces that are in there from um, from using the shears to cut the edges, um, make sure all those pieces are picked up, and then you inside your bag out. Push all the corners out if you have any, and then you're gonna make sure the bag closes, and then I sew on both ends of the zipper. You can top stitch if you want. But typically this bag I don't because um, just the way the zipper is put in, it's it would be like wobbly and look bad. So I just do the inside edges, tack it down a little bit. Um, I do about four four ways and then cut the strings. And typically I have a matching. Um, matching thread so it looks nice. And then see these edges. I use shears. You can see that they've used shears on their zippers. So you just cut the excess off. And then do the same thing to the other side. I check it and pinch this after so that it's nice and flat. Um, this side you're gonna you're gonna close it and make sure that's as far down as you want it. Because sometimes if you don't get close to the edge on it, it won't look like this. It'll be all poking out or pushed down. So you want to make sure that you really get these um, angles in there. So close it. Make sure where you have it is where you want it. And then hold on to it and kind of open it like this. Hold on to it and then put it under there. But kind of pull on it once you have it pressed down so that you can flatten it out. If you don't pull it closed, it won't be flat like this when you're done. It'll be all bunched up and stuff. Um, I try and get it as close to the other seam so that it hides it. Um, and then cut your strings. And then cut just below where you just made that seam for that uh, sewing. And then make sure it's nice and clean and then flip it. And there you go. And I usually, um, after this, I take an iron and iron it flat. I iron it flat and then close it and then iron on top of that so that it's nice and flat like this one. And then I add a little zipper pull to it. See how flat it is in there? And there you go. And now I only have 17 more to go, which I will now show you.